Welcome everyone to our monthly update for the month of September. As we know that for the past couple of months, the markets have been uh, wanting an answer to whether they will or whether they will not. And if they do, then when and how much. So there has been a lot of suspense and speculation around whether the Fed will do taper or uh, whether they will start reducing their bond purchases and if they will hike rates. In the month of August, we got a reasonable clarity as to what is the likely direction in which the central bank could move between the July FOMC meeting of the Fed and the Jackson Hole Symposium meeting held in the last week of August. Fed has now made it clear that a taper will start sometimes later this year, possibly in the December and by January, March, they will be beginning to reduce the bond purchases program that they have currently from now there is no indication at this stage as to how much the reduction will happen. The other thing that Fed did uh, assert very clearly is to separate the reduction in the bond purchases with the rate hikes. So Fed has clearly suggested that just because they stop or reduce buying bonds it doesn't mean that they will start hiking rates for which the threshold is much higher when they see a better employment situation in US. So in the last three months, what is clear is that Fed has switched from not even talking about talk of taper to a full scale taper to start later this year, but they have uh, given the markets a very smooth lending. Everyone was afraid of the 2013 kind of a taper tantrum where the markets went ballistic, but this time I think the markets have absorbed it very nicely. The 10 year yield in US largely remained the range bond between 1.20 to 1.35. As a matter of fact, after the Fed's uh, uh, you know, signal about beginning of taper, the 10 year yield actually fell from a high of 1.3, 1.35 for the month to just about 1.30. The situation is now clear that, you know, the Fed taper will possibly be a reasonably benign event for the markets. We need to understand how it will impact the Indian markets and how it will affect the Reserve Bank's course of action on the monetary policy. RBI at its monetary policy in first week of August reinforced its stance of an accommodative monetary policy. The MPC made it clear that till such time as the recovery is not on a sustainable path, it will continue to be accommodative. We had one member dissenting uh, in the MPC resolution uh, and uh, there were some voices about a uh, need to restore and normalize the monetary policy. There were some other members who suggested that the liquidity normalization can start without actual rate hike, etc. But I think on the balance, the policy seems to be supporting a continued soft interest rate regime and if the Fed taper is uh, reasonably smooth and does not uh, lead to any major volatility in the global market, then I believe that the Reserve Bank can continue to be accommodative. There were other couple of positive developments uh, apart from the uh, central banks. One is the fiscal deficit for the first four months of the year was at 21.3% of the budget, which is amongst the lowest uh, for the same period in any other previous financial year. And that was led by and large with a significant uh, improvement in the revenue collection. So that is a big positive for the market. Inflation also seems to be uh, heading lower in the coming months with the uh, huge buffer food stock available with the government and with the next harvest ready to be hit in the festival time, I believe that inflation can also be slightly lower in the coming months on headline basis, although the trajectory uh, will continue to bother for some time uh, in terms of the directional move that the inflation is taking. All in all, I think the last few months have been very confusing for the market, very nerving for the market. Markets have been, uh, you know, trying to assess how the uh, inflation in the global markets will affect the domestic monetary policy. Uh, there is some clarity and there are other positive factors which are adding up and that leads us to believe that maybe in the coming months we can see a stable uh, 
slightly more positive and confident bond market. The 10 year yield had gone to 6.25. Uh, possible that the 10 year yield sees some correction and then maybe gets closer to 6.10%. Uh, September is going to be a month uh, of the advanced tax collections. And therefore, we will get another signal of how the economy is doing and how the uh, revenue collections are happening. All in all, I think the market should be stable in the coming uh, couple of months till we see the next big event. And uh, with the markets already having corrected and being at, uh, at an attractive level, I feel there is some room for interest rates to ease in the coming months, which is not a significant uh, ease, but in the sense that whatever correction had happened in the past couple of months from six to six quarter, that market may recover to some extent. Given that I remain constructive and positive on fixed income for the month of September, uh, and uh, again, investors with a long-term investment horizon should continue to stick with their asset allocation and wait for better times and allow the funds to be able to invest the new flows and the existing maturities at the current higher yields. Uh, thank you so much. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.